Today we're gonna install the quick shifter on Honda CBR 650R. So first thing, open the boot. things so after that you take out the seat the seat comes here then you need to pop out these plastics just need to have a look how to do that oh, here is one bolt I don't like this one when it's pointing like that out. Should be more hidden. So the switch is somewhere here under. Using my using instructions you can download them online. So as you see you take off the seat, then you take off from those side fairings and from the tank this part comes off okay let's see how it goes after that when this thing comes off I need to remove these two screws to lift up the tank as it shows on extraction now I need to take all these things okay when this comes off you're supposed to lift up a bit tank and there you're supposed to see oh i cannot lift up now oh, maybe this thing is only to come off i think you need to pin inside there so this small pops out as well just a second let's do this so yeah when you're taking out this thing there is little pins this one's take something like that, sometimes I just push it in. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's the cover. Stick the You push in those pins and then this thing should come off. It's like kind of block mechanism. Alright. Okay. After that you lift up the tank. You will see this blue cable in there. That's where Quick Shifter goes. It's a plug and play. So now we're gonna install this part over here. Actual Quick Shifter. Something like that. Using masking tape. So I know where it's gonna go. Exactly, it's at the middle. After that. After that, you have position shown here sensor harness uh -huh, 175 mils that's what you need to okay 
Wait on the bridge today, it's so windy. So, harness is 175 mil. So, I need to mark this one. I'm gonna go get my ruler and then we're gonna mark this one. I'm sure. So, here, take the measure. From this part, I need to mark this cable leg. That's 17 and a half centimeters, which is almost 7 inches. Something like that. Okay. So, this one cable goes under there, then you zip tie somewhere here to make it secure. It shows in the instructions. This is the plug. What I did, I put an empty bottle under so the tank can lift up and can hold there. And this is a switch. We're gonna switch to this. The switch gonna go there. And then we're gonna secure those cables over there. There was some relay, so I took the little screwdriver to take it off. Probably that's some kind of what is blocking the thing, so it's waterproof. Okay then, quick shifter is under there. Cable comes here. I somehow managed to put under there somewhere. It came out somewhere in the middle. So. That's how it goes. Now I'm gonna put all the screws back together and we're gonna go for the test ride. As the weather is at the moment is nice. It's just a windy. So this is it. Put back all this. Scroll scrolls under the tank. Here is the small poppings. So there's a clip on on the rubber which is holding all this part so nothing is rattling. This thing comes here, zip tied over there, so it's nice, and smooth. And now we're gonna go for the last ride. Quick shifter installed. Let's go for a small spin. Let's see how does it work. Bike pants. This is normal pants, but hopefully.
Chris. This bike doesn't show temperature, it's right? Yeah. It's not necessary, but it's nice when it shows temperature. So original Honda quick shifter cost me 300 euros. But I always wanted to try and Looks like it worth the money. shifting as well it's okay you need to press the clutch but it's very soft it's not like woo, woo, like like kind of stiff thing it's not that stiff it's very soft like so we press clutch and don't shift
drivers, whatever. Look at this road. Look at this. Jesus guys, the water level rise very high, that's why it's like that. Take risk. Go. No. I'm not gonna take a risk. It's 
it's way too deep. I seen by that car. Water level is very high. Up. I just cleaned the bike before stuck to no. That was my choice to come here. This is it for today, see you next adventure.